Hi everyone, this is the update on the restarted Hoya KDI. It is doing well actually. The leaves are hardening up, but it will be a very slow recovery because this wine was very old and dehydrated. And again, I have not sprayed any high phosphorus fertilizer to help this to root more faster. The high phosphorus fertilizer that I use is uh, 10, 50 to 10 with uh, micro elements added. There is actually no reason to spray any root enhancers or hormones or whatever that you might find in the market if your wine is young. This wine is over five years old and this is my Hail Mary attempt in recovering this. So as per my usual way of doing things, I meant to spray a high you know, pea fertilizer, but I couldn't. Actually, I couldn't find it and uh, in the new place, I do not want to uh, do an organic fertilizer because they smell horrible. There were some wines that were, uh, you know, drying off. Yeah, even something like this, right? Because uh, here, uh, this is going down because I took one and there's another apparently with uh, no leaves so you know you have to have leaves to photosynthesize and uh, grow but now uh, the bare vines can root too but very rare uh, if you give a high pea fertilizer you will be able to promote root and then leaves but these wines are very old and dehydrated most of them and some are rotting because of that reason from the bottom so wines like that may not recover but we can try our best that is the reason i inserted all the cuttings in into this pot i have emptied the pot now there is no water in it I will not leave water in the reservoir uh, for more than two days because it gets rained on and because I am afraid of mosquitoes, I do not want to create problems for neighbors also. So therefore, I keep all of them empty but I make sure that I water them right? because too much of water, as I have told you in my previous video of where I restarted this, too much of water is not a good sign when it comes to a plant that is been suffering with a root rot issue for some time now. And one such plant is Hoya Kerii, and there's another like that. I told you I had to start many of my plants. Uh, I have a suspicion as to what it is. It's not the fertilizer, it's not the care, it's not spraying fertilizer even. In my update, I will reveal all that because uh, at the rate all this is going on, it's a, a high probability that that was the reason for these to fail. So what happens is like this, it'll yellow from the stem and it'll totally dehydrate, become papery and die off. If you remember, all my Hoyas were full, but this is what I have left with many of my Hoyas now. Majority are actually doing well, but uh, I have restarted many, like I showed you. Right? This also I have to restart. That's my Hoya densifolia. This is my Hoya CV Jennifer. And
and this is uh, what is this? Oh yeah, guys. Um, yeah, this is something that I really loved, but I have to inspect the roots on this also, and uh, maybe take off the whole root bulb and restart it from the beginning. I may not take off all the roots actually because this is a very major vine therefore there should be some sort of roots to you know give the nutrition it needs but by the time I do that I have to have that high phosphorus or high pea fertilizer in hand otherwise I will not attempt this. This is my vanilla which I have repotted and I have sent it along this pole. I will update you soon. So that is about it. Uh, I am just giving you an update on this row and I will give you a full update as soon as I see more signs of new vines or new leaves on my Hoya career. Thank you guys for watching and have a wonderful day. It's 7 a.m. here on Friday and it's Vesak. So you might hear a lot of chanting at the background of my video. That's from the temples. Thank you guys. Bye bye.